Don't let simple distractions get in the way of a beautiful portrait. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to remove these using artificial intelligence. Hey there and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. We got a great tutorial for you. Let's jump into Photoshop. So here we go. We have our three images. You guys can download these on flurn.com to follow along. Just follow the link down below. Now let's click on full screen here. Just F for full screen. Our portrait looks really good, but we just have some distractions here in the foreground. We've got some plants and looks like a lawn chair or something like that. Just a little bit distracting. Now getting rid of these objects is really easy to do. We're gonna start by grabbing our lasso tool. You can hit L for the lasso tool or just scroll right here to the lasso. There we go. And I'm gonna start by making a selection right over here. Just click and drag. There we go around our first object. As you can see, I'm just basically making a rough selection around it. We're gonna to go to our contextual taskbar and hit generative fill. I don't have to type in anything. It's gonna know that I wanna remove that object. We're just gonna click on generate and then this sends it to the cloud for artificial intelligence and that it's going to send us back with a few different variations. Getting rid of the options like this make a huge difference in your images. There we go, and you can see it's gone. This used to take hours in Photoshop, but not anymore. So same exact step, we're just gonna start with our lasso tool. Just go ahead and click and drag. You can make your selection slightly larger than the object you want to remove, and you really don't have to be that great with your selection, as you can see. Uh, I'm pretty rough here. Let's go ahead and click on Generative Fill one more time and click on Generate, and this is gonna send it to AI. Now it's, it knows we want to remove these objects. If you want to type something in there to like actually tell it what to put there, that's totally okay. But if you just highlight something and don't put anything in there, it's gonna just assume you want to remove that object. There we go. And of course, in our properties window here, we're gonna have a few different options, but hey, that looks pretty great. Let's go ahead and take a look at our different options. Fantastic. So if I go back to my layers panel, let's go ahead and zoom out and take a look at our portrait. We're just gonna group those and here's the before and after with that portrait. You can see much more clear focus on our subject. For our next image, we've got some distractions behind our subject. Let's go ahead and remove those. So we're gonna start again with our lasso tool. Just gonna select this to start with and click on generative fill. Go ahead and click on generate. This has gotten so much easier to do thanks for the help of artificial intelligence. Of course, you could remove this stuff with traditional tools in Photoshop, but with AI, it just makes it so simple. And I wanna remove this sign. So we're just gonna, again, with our lasso tool, just kinda of click and drag right around there. We're gonna go around the edge of the hair. Fantastic, let's go ahead and, oh, I accidentally closed out my selection, That no big deal. Hold down the shift key and you can go ahead and add to that selection. So I just completed that selection, keeping the entire sign in selection. Go to generative fill and then click on generate. Fantastic. So if you're in a location and you're photographing your subject and there's just something kind of distracting in the background or the foreground, it, it's not that big of a deal anymore. You can remove it. It's just a couple simple steps. There we go. Let's just show you that before and the after. And for our last example, we've got some boats and a railing in the background. So here we are again, just same tool as before with our lasso tool. We're simply going to make a selection this time I'm gonna to try to get a few different objects in the same selection. So we've got all this in the background. I'm gonna hold the shift key. Let's go ahead and zoom in here. Let's hold shift and make a selection right around this boat back there. There we go, whatever that is. I'm not sure it's out of focus, but we're gonna remove it. Fantastic. Again, I'm holding shift just to make sure that I add to the selection. So it's gonna take care of all this stuff in the same generative fill. Fantastic, let's click on Generative Fill and click on Generate. And again, it's going to remove all this stuff. Now we notice we have some grain in the original photo. The nice thing about this AI is that it's gonna reproduce this grain as well. Really, really nice effect. There we go, and completely removed. We have a few different options. I think this one, yeah, that one worked a little bit better. Now in this case, it didn't get everything we wanted here. So we're just gonna make a selection around this area and go ahead and just run this again. Not a big deal. Let's click on Generative Fill. Click on Generate one more time. This is such a nice tool. Maybe we'll get rid of that. Uh, she just has a little bit of hair over her face too. Let's get rid of that too. All right, a few different options there. There we go. I think that looks great. Let's go ahead and zoom in. And I want to just take care of this little bit of hair. When you're covering a person's face or any details like this, you want to make sure to make your selection as close as possible to the object you want to remove. This here, I don't mind so much. There we go. Maybe, yeah, 
maybe we'll just hold shift and add that little bit right there. This here, I don't mind. There we go. Let's click on generative fill and click on generate and see how it does. Basically, it's going to recreate part of our subject's face. So <laughs> you don't want to select too much or it's going to just like remake a lot of your subject's face. But you can see it did a great job there. And zooming out, the last thing we want to do is get rid of this railing. So we're going to make our selection here. Let's go ahead and just click right around this. Fantastic. There we go. I'm going to hold shift and then we can just go ahead on the other side and boom, make that selection generative fill and then click on generate as well to get rid of that railing. So these tools are absolutely amazing. They're so easy to use it back, you know, years ago, it would be clone stamping and healing brush and painting and all that sort of thing. And now simple selections plus, you know, AI really, really does a good job. A few different options there. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and just group those together. And here we can see our before and the after getting rid of all those distraction elements in the background, as well as the flyaway hair and that railing. So we can see how just a few minutes in Photoshop can make a huge difference in your portraits. Thanks so much for watching. Give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Let us know in a comment right down below what you'd like to see. Thanks again. I'll flirt you later. Bye everyone.